when I tell you that today was almost a palette disaster. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys don't know me, my name is Brooke. I'm a full-time reseller online. I buy liquidation palettes through auctions at a budget. If those palettes get bid past a certain point, I will just decide to go liquidation shopping for the weekend to get my inventory. What I usually buy are clothing palettes. They were getting bid up so much and I just did not see it was worth it. And so I went for one of the miscellaneous palettes. When you buy miscellaneous palettes, they're a lot more risky, but it looked promising because it had like this donut ottoman on top and dungeon and dragon sets. And I looked them up and they were close to 75 to 100 bucks for each of them. I spent a few hundred bucks on it. I could at least make my money back. When I lifted up that ottoman and those dungeon and dragon sets when I went to pick up the palette, like 500 disposable masks and hundreds of dried out expo markers. So then I got to the bottom and I found a lot more good stuff. As I unloaded from the car, I was going to show you guys a palette haul. I definitely think I'll be able to make my money back from this. Thank goodness. As soon as I got through all the masks and dried out expo markers, I came across 12 Instax cameras and they're new and sealed in their packaging. Let me show you. Let's sort them by color. I believe there's 12 of them. Got light blue. Look how cute the gray is. And we got pink. Let me point my phone down so you guys can see this a little bit better. So this is a pile of all the cameras I got. There are 12 total. Even though I got a bunch of the junk, this definitely makes up for it. First part of the palette haul I'm showing you guys. I do not know what these sell for currently, but these should get most of the money back. I'm excited. This is one of the main things that made me purchase this palette in the picture. By far the most fun thing, it's a giant donut ottoman. That's what made me believe it was more of a home decor palette. We'll see if I can even ship that. When you buy unmanifested liquidation palettes, there's usually only a couple pictures to judge off from the palette. It is a complete risk. I know nothing about Dungeons and Dragons. I just know that it's very expensive and sought after. Let's see, this one says Dungeons and Dragons Icons of the Realms. Adult Topaz Dragon. Dungeons and Dragons Adult Brass Dragon. I knew these would be sets that probably sell really well. And another one, this one is Dungeons and Dragons Icon of the Realm adult copper dragon hopefully they'll sell well we will see quite a bit of nice stuff so far you know i feel pretty lucky considering half the palette was but let's keep going okay so i got two of these i'm guessing they're the exact same it looks like this it says fruit story 36 pieces of fruit pens i don't know if i should just sell this as a whole display or as sets but look how cute that box is kind of damaged but i did get another one kawaii fruit pen set got two of those I got a big set of these fluffy keychains. Let me open one. Those are pretty cute. Just little cute flower fluffy keychains. That is more style of what I would sell like fashion accessory wise. A big set of those. Let's see what these are. It looks like a mini notebook. Oh, cute. It's a post-it note mini notebook. So that's adorable. Big pack of those. I think those are all cute things that will sell really well. I got two giant comforter sets. Coverlet and sheets. Those are really nice. Home goods do well. Five gazillion mothballs. What am I supposed to do with these? They say Mongrove Bay, St. Petersburg. Pinnacle one golf balls. I have no idea what we're going to do with those yet, but hopefully they'll sell for something. Good set for any office. 12 rolls of scotch tape with a dispenser. I got about five of those. There is so much more in that palette. So that's just the beginning of this haul. I'm going to make a second part video for the rest of it because I have to finish unloading that and then I'll work on a video. Just wanted to give you guys a sneak peek of what a random miscellaneous palette is. There were a lot of those masks and dried out expos in there and a few like wire things that I have no idea what they are, industrial style stuff. I have no idea what I'll do with that yet, but at least we got some solid good stuff that I at least know what it is. I'll start selling some of this tonight and go through the rest tomorrow. I was worried for a second that I lost out on a few hundred bucks when I first saw the palette let me know what you guys think in the comments but just from this stuff i pulled out so far it does seem like it will be just fine if you guys enjoyed this random miscellaneous haul let me know thanks for watching i will talk to you guys next time